Hey guys, Ron from Function Build Aquatics. Now I wanted to shoot an update video on the Beta Unimaculata shipment I received about two and a half weeks ago. The top tank I placed the Unimac Wahoo pair. Currently the female is residing in the tank. I just recently removed the male to a five and a half gallon rearing tank where he can actually spit the fry that he's been holding on to for the past 11 days. This allows me to do two things. It allows the male to recondition after he does spit the fry after he hasn't eaten for 15 to 7 days. And just in case he's in this tank and he was to spit the fry, the female will be expecting him to spawn right away, which means you can run him very closely into a second spawning of which he won't eat for up to 30 days. That's not good, it's not healthy. So what I like to do is remove the male after holding for 11 to 12 days, let him spit the fry in a separate tank, let him grow, let the fry grow out with the father in the tank, and allow him to eat for three to four weeks with the fry. When I did this with the Antuta, I learned one quick thing. I was able to actually get the fry from eating live microworms to eating processed dry foods rather quickly. By allowing the male to feed in a tank with them, he would chew up some pellets, spit them out through his gills. Then the fry would feed on the particles of the pellets around him. And in no time, I was able to convert them from eating live microworms to eating dry foods. And the male actually helped me doing that, either unwillingly or willingly. So that was a pretty cool deal. And I hope to expect to see the same from the Unimac once he spits the fry. Down below, we have the Unimac pair of Milak. This pair has actually spawned twice, but unfortunately, the male has swallowed both clutches of eggs. I've been told by plenty of people that are experts in a hobby that in time that'll change and the fish are just maybe too young or the male is just too young to hold on to a clutch to term. The female in this tank does spend a lot of time trying to get the male to spawn and he's showing a very little interest in spawning right now. All he really cares about is eating. But like I said, in time he'll do, he'll do what he needs to do and uh, we'll get a nice spawn from the Unimac Milak pair. Down below I have the female Beta Petoti. She is currently hiding. She was shipped with a mate but unfortunately the mate was DOA while in transit. So I've been waiting to find a suitable companion for her of which I was able to secure a really cool looking male from Paul Votava from Sea Dwelling Creatures. Paul was an absolute pleasure to do business with. He shipped the fish in a box securely wrapped, more than two heat packs. I did a temperature and of which I'll, I'll, I'll add a photo of my temperature gun showing the temperature inside the bag was 76 to 77 degrees. The last shipment I got, which was these guys, unfortunately they were shipped with just one heat pack and, and the water temperature was 62 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm lucky it wasn't colder. But this is the difference when you deal with someone who, who actually cares about the fish, knows what he's doing, and just plain gives a shit. Sorry for the language, but this is how I feel. Paul was absolutely a pleasure to do business with and this particular fish came directly out of his own personal collection. I can't wait to show you the next video of him with the female interacting and them cruising around together. Right now I'm doing a nice drip acclimation on him. He was shipped yesterday afternoon from California and arrived to my door sometime I believe around 10.30 this morning. So. Stay tuned for the next video of the Beta Petoti male introduced to the female. Thanks guys. Functional Aquatics. Okay guys, I just released them in. And of course the female's been in this tank for about two and a half weeks or so. Look at the size of this monster. Paul sent me a beast. He might be the largest. He might be the largest betta fish I own. I mean, I have some 
female antutor are a nice size, but nothing like this guy. It's huge. She's definitely showing a little bit more attention to him because he's new to her territory. But from what I've been told, she may want to back off a little bit because he could be pretty rough. Look at the size of this dude. Wow. He's amazing looking. I guarantee you these guys spawn quick. He's like, dude, can we talk? People ask me all the time, what does it take to get involved into uh, wild betta fish? Passion for the species. It's not a hard finding the fish themselves unless you start to want to specialize in particular types of fish. But one of the main things I will say is that passion for the individual species is, is, is what you have to have from the very get. Just to stay.